All right, today I've got some custom orders to work on. I'm bringing you along for the journey, so let's get into this. guys so tell me who remembers this this is the mold I used to cast the draw front for my outfit tape these beauties over here if you haven't seen that build yet I'll leave a link just up here you should check it out it's pretty awesome if I do say so myself but we are gonna repurpose this mold so I can use it for this custom order so let's chop it up on the table saw We know that uh, that bench is solid because that was a big drop.
All right, so sanding that is taking way too long and I don't have the patience for it. So I'm gonna run this through the thicknesser now and ruin my brand new blades on some resin. Plus, I can't hear a word that I'm saying because I haven't paused my music. So I'm just gonna get back to this. This here, this is why we need beard care. If you need beard care, check out the link in the description below. Use the code JND20 and score yourself 20% off the best beard care you can get. So while I've been sitting around waiting for router batteries to charge, pesky little things are still not charged. I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the underside of this table, the legs and I don't know the technical terms, but the other bits and pieces that go around the legs. So I milled up the jar I had left over from the original slab, played around with a little bit of a design, and then for the first time I cut half lap joinery. At least I think that's what it's called. So I used the table saw to do that, played around with the settings, did a few test runs on some scrap, but because I was waiting for router batteries to charge, I forgot to film it all. So I just wanted to catch you guys up on where we're at. So I might try and glue this up before I continue routing the groove in the other piece, because there's still a red light going over there. And that means it's not ready to go. So let's be efficient and throw some glue on this. interruption my cat's moses apron just arrived i've been waiting on this thing for like three months now and i am stoked that it's finally here there is a ton of storage space in this to hold all my everyday tools and it's actually quite comfortable so enough random info let's get back in and take these clamps off
All right, now in order to finish up this massive hat rack, I'm gonna apply a coat of wax to the entire thing. That's including the railway spikes. Now I'm doing this to prevent the metal from rusting in the future and just to give it a nice final finish. So let's get this wax on and then we can move on to the hall table. tell you how thrilled I am that this project is finally complete. This custom order has been in my workshop for weeks now and as you saw that hat rack is massive so it's taken up a huge amount of space and now I can finally take it to its forever home. All in all I'm really happy with how everything came out. We did take a bit of a turn in direction with the legs halfway through. I didn't film that because you'd already seen me make a component that was very similar to how the client ended up actually wanting the legs to be so I just cut them all and changed the design and then you saw me put it together. All the wood in this order came from one slab of Jarrah. Now I've been hanging on to that slab for about two and a half years and I've still got some leftover offcuts from that slab. It was huge. Only thing that wasn't from the slab was the French cleat system that I put on the back of the hat rack and that was made from black bean. But the red Western Australian Jarrah just went absolutely beautifully with that green pearlescent resin and I'm stoked with how it came out. It looks awesome. It was my first time 
using those figure eight clips to attach the legs. They're a really simple, easy way to attach furniture legs. So I'll be getting more of those and using them in the future, most definitely. And I think that about sums it up for this build. Now those two components weren't the only things in this customer's order. They also purchased the Lichtenberg bowl that I made, this one up here, and three sets of mixed coasters. I wanna say thank you for checking out this build and hanging out with me today. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now and ring that notification bell. And before you head off, I've got a video teed up right here for you that I think you'll really enjoy. And this one down here is what YouTube thinks you'll like. You can check out all my other social platforms, link down below. Look after yourself. Until we see each other again, enjoy.